Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, today, we're thinking about this idea that we have no idea how valuable wisdom is because if we knew, we would seek it more than we do. In the passage I'm going to read right now, and I'm going to read from Proverbs chapter 4, verses 5 through 9, it's one of my favorite lines in the Bible. It's one of these lines that just pops out as almost so simple, it seems silly, but it's actually profound. So it may, maybe as I read, you'll see what that line is. Maybe I'll let it come out as how I read it. But I, there's one in here that I just find very humorous and interesting. So I'm going to begin in chapter 4 of Proverbs in verse 5. Listen to this invitation. Get wisdom. Get understanding. Do not forget my words or turn away from them. Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you. Love her, and she will watch over you. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. Though it costs you all you have, get understanding. Cherish her, and she will exalt you. Embrace her, and she will honor you. She will give you a garland to grace your head and present you with a glorious crown. I mean, there's, there's a lot here. Uh, you might have picked up the line that, that I, I said is so simple, but yet so profound. And here it is. It, it's this. The beginning of wisdom is this. Get wisdom. It's, it's like saying uh, the beginning of becoming a millionaire is this. Get a million dollars. The, get, the, the beginning of looking handsome is this. Be more handsome. It's like, it's, it seems, well, here's the beginning of wisdom. Get some wisdom. But, but it's profound. Because oftentimes we don't pursue the things that matter most. Look at your calendar from the last week. Where did you spend the most time? You're growing in something in your life. It could be occupationally. It could be socially. It could be the care you give to your physical body. It could be spiritually. But if you're going to grow in wisdom, you have to look at your calendar and say, I'm doing things that increase my wisdom. Oftentimes we do things not knowingly that decrease our wisdom. So here's a few insights about wisdom and, and about how valuable it is. Here's the first one. Get it. That's, that's an active thing. Pursue wisdom. In the Word of God, pursue wisdom. Spend time with wise people and listen to them. Listen to good sermons, good podcasts, different things that, that bring wisdom to your life. There's things that, be, that can be entertaining, but they aren't growing us in wisdom. And so here's the first thing, get wisdom. Here's the second thing, remember it. Remember the wisdom you get. Because we, we can just sort of be like, like a leaky bucket. We can fill ourselves with wisdom, and all of a sudden, it runs out. It's on the ground, it's gone. So remember wisdom. One of the things I'd encourage you to do is to find three or four passages in the Bible that express incredible wisdom and commit them to memory. So that any time you can recite those in your mind and you can let that wisdom kind of churn around in your heart and your mind. And then verse 6 calls us to love wisdom with devotion. Be so devoted to wisdom that, that we love it. Say, oh, I love growing in wisdom. You, you encounter a situation, all of a sudden the wisdom of God is there in your mind. It's there in your heart. It comes through in your life. You say, God, thank you that I'm growing in wisdom. In verse 7, we're called to sacrifice much for wisdom. There's nothing you can invest in growing in wisdom that will be wasted. Because, because that wisdom will impact your financial decisions. It'll impact your relationships. It'll impact how you take care of your body. Wisdom touches every part of our lives. Ultimately, wisdom transforms us to be more who Jesus wants us to be. And there's nothing better than that. And then finally, in verses 8 and 9, Know the power of wisdom. Listen to these words again. Cherish her and she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will honor you. This is wisdom being personified as this wise woman who's investing in your life. And then verse 9. She will give you a gar garland to grace your head and present you with a gracious, glorious crown. That's what wisdom will do for you. And so again, let wisdom grow in you through being in this book. Read the scriptures, commit things to memory, spend time with people who model wisdom, and go to any well, any well you can drink from that brings wisdom that's biblical, that's from the heart of God. Here's my encouragement. Find one way you increase your wisdom. Maybe the first starting point is one passage from the Bible, one verse, one passage, one section that you commit to memory because it speaks the wisdom of God to your heart. Will you pray with me? God, thank you that you give wisdom freely that you pour wisdom out on all who will receive it. Thank you that you call us to action in pursuing wisdom. May we do that, O oh God. And we pray that we would be in your word, that we would be around wise people and recognize what they have to give to us. We pray that we wouldn't be a leaky bucket, but that when wisdom fills us, we would commit it to memory and remember those lessons you've taught us about how to live in wisdom in every area of our lives. We pray this in your name, Jesus. 
Amen. Have a great day and walk in the wisdom of God.